Hey everybody, today on Henry's How To's, I'm going to show you how to make Armenian Lule Kebab. Basically, it's a variation of my Persian Kubide Kebab. Let's get straight into it. So just in front of me here, I've got one kilo of lamb mince, and it's a ratio of 80% meat to 20% fat. So when you get some, just ask your butcher to make it like that. So we'll get started on everything we need to add to it. So I find the easiest way is to mix everything in one bowl, then we'll add it all to the meat. So we'll start off with a small onion, just dice it very finely. And then add a handful of chopped parsley, about a tablespoon of oregano leaves, half a tablespoon of black pepper, a tablespoon of cumin powder, tablespoon of red paprika a tablespoon of salt half a teaspoon of red cayenne pepper two crushed garlic cloves and two tablespoons of tomato paste. Now to this we're also gonna be adding in, I'm using two small eggs, or else you can use just a large one. Now what we need to do is combine this all the way throughout. Just like that. So now bring our mincemeat back and we'll add all this marinade to it. And we just want to mix that through. Use two hands so it works better. If you have a mixer, you can throw it in the mixer and use that. And it's completely up to you. And make sure you scrape the sides. Okay, so as you can see, that's well combined. So what we'll do now is we'll cover this with some cling wrap, put it into the fridge for about a, say half an hour, just so all those flavors can expand. Then we'll bring it back out and skewer it and cook it. All right, so we're gonna skewer these now. So set up a station. So I've got a um, container of hot water here. Obviously I made this there. I've just got a tray here, which I can put the skewers on once I skewer it. Now everybody has a different way of doing this. Um, you can put these on wooden skewers for example, make them really thin. You can put these in a frying pan or in the oven. What I like to do is the traditional way and put it on a mango and cook it on an open fire. So I'm going to be skewering them on thin skewers like these. If you've watched my Kubide or Adana recipe, you'll see what I mean. So I won't get into too much detail on how to skewer. But if you watch those, you can learn. So very simple, use your hand, into the hot water first, then into your meat. You wanna grab a palm full of the meat. So it's almost like a big meatball, but not too much. Now in your hand, you wanna keep squeezing it like that till you make it into a cylinder shape. And then we've got our flat skewer here, as you can see, into the middle. Push the meat on, like that. 
see, this side's still open, that side's closed. Now you want to push down on the meat, like that. See, now it's on the skewer. But this will still fall off. So hand back in the water again, and keep pushing down on the meat with your thumb. Push it towards the skewer. They'll stick it onto the skewer. Wet your hand again, turn your skewer over. Do it again. And then, as you can see, it's perfectly on the skewer now. There's a bit of excess down here. Use two fingers, take them off like that. Back into your container there of meat. And there we go. That's how we skewer it. So it's very easy. You may run into some problems the first few times you do it. But once your hand gets used to it, it's very, very simple. And as for the ripple patterns that I do on it, I'm 26 now. I've been trying to do that since I was four years old. I've only gotten it four years ago. So don't stress. All it takes is practice. So before I put the skewers on, I'm going to let you all on a little secret. I get a lot of people commenting and asking me for help about what to do when their meat falls off the skewer. Now this is a common problem. If you're using frozen and thawed minced meat, you're easily going to run into that problem. What you can do is add another egg for example, and you might stick it all together. But I find that the reason that happens is people don't seal the meat properly. So I'll teach you what to do. So go ahead and put your skewers on your grill. Mind you, my grill is on full blast right now. Just like that. The easiest way is after about 15 to 20 seconds, the bottom will start to brown a little. So that side's sealed. So what you need to do is just flip it over, like that. See, it's starting to brown. What this does is it seals the meat. Instead of becoming separate pieces of minced meat, it will start to turn into one piece. So same process again. On this side, another 15, 20 seconds, we'll flip it again. So once again, so the trick is you want to keep flipping them, don't leave them on one side. Now, for example, on this one, you can see this side's starting to char, so this side's cooked. So it's a matter of waiting for this side. So this one, for example, is cooked, so it will start to rest. So obviously over here is a cold spot, so this one's taking longer.
Okay, so that's all of them. So I've served up my rice here, which is just Persian rice. I've got that video up too if you want to see it. So we'll take them off the skewers. So very simple. From the top, push it down a little bit. Then push it right off the skewer like that. Same again, push it down, push it off. Simple as that. And that's how we make Armenian Lule Kebab. I hope you like that guys, please like and subscribe to my channel. If you've got any comments, suggestions or need some extra help, just shoot it at the bottom and I'll try and get back to you. And I'll see you all next time.